Ubisoft might not be the most beloved game studio of all time, but there are a few diamonds in the rough that they've created. And above all of the rest is a game that allows me to tune out the world and focus on nothing but beauty. So hello everyone, my name is Schmenti, and this is my tribute to Steep. But how does a game like this become one of my favorite games to just chill out to of all time? Let's take a look. Imagine a skiing game with the mechanics of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Yes, that's pretty much steep for you. But where Pro Skater got incredible reviews, Steep did not. Well, I never actually played those skating games growing up. I actually can't tell you how good the games compare to each other. What I can tell you, however, is that the game is not always defined by the reviews, just as the book is not always defined by its cover. And Steep is an incredible example of this. I lost a lot of faith in the game reviewers that I had been watching and reading for years after I finally got my hands on Steep. The biggest word that kept jumping out at me was underwhelming. Everyone was calling this game underwhelming. They said that the plot was weak, the story was weak, and overall there wasn't much to do. And I can do nothing but disagree with that. Yes, of course the game could be longer, but the mechanics that I saw in each review kept on getting underused. It's easy to fire a gun in any video game, but the mastery level is high, there's a skill ceiling, that's what video games are so appealing for. But the same story is found here. The mechanics are incredibly easy to learn, but incredibly difficult to master. You will never hear me claim to be an exceptional game reviewer. But what I do know is how certain games make me feel, and Steep makes me feel a way that most other games cannot. Calm. Steep is what I go to when I burn out of every single other one of my games. After hundreds of deaths in a first person shooter, own goals in Rocket League, or any other stressful game, I can return to the gorgeous slopes of Steep. Whether on ski or sled, snowboard or wingsuit, this game has something for you. The world is absolutely massive, you can go anywhere, find different drop zones, and fly down massive mountains. This is why I love this game so much. It's a way to disconnect from reality for just a little bit and focus on yourself, the earth, and your tricks. In the world we live in today, games are meant to hold your hand, but also simultaneously challenge you. Some of my favorite games are those that don't tell you anything. Factorio, Escape from Tarkov, and many, many more are just like this. I think people who play Steep either want a realistic snowboarding and skiing experience, or a sandbox to test exactly how many Gs your character can pull before getting obliterated by a tree. And it's not actually great at either one of those. It has real tricks, real world things that snowboarders and skiers do in real life, but they don't do them off 90 foot drops onto nothing but rock. No, the game does not claim to be realistic, and neither should it. It's not just a sandbox to torture your character though. It falls in a category not many games fall in. If you play it to 100% it, you'll be disappointed. By the rather boring paragliding that is forced upon you, or, you know, the subpar skiing trips that you have to do. I've never 100%ed this game because when I get bored of it, I'll just go and enjoy the simplicity of skiing down a mountain, just as the game was intended to be. Look, it's not the deepest game you'll ever play. You can easily have tons of hours, but it's about learning new things and mastering new things. I like to play this game more of an experience than a hardcore video game. I don't play to get better, I play to chill out, and I think that that's the best way to play the game. Obviously, if you want to 100% this game and you have the motivation to do so, you absolutely can. But if you want to enjoy the game, if you want to just chill out and play for 30 minutes, let's say, it's an amazing game to do that. Playing this game on my Xbox One a few years back was a peaceful time in my life. High school was rough sometimes, and most schools are rough sometimes, but this game allowed me to disconnect for a few minutes 
and focus on the powder, the terrain, and my snowboard. I have a ton of fond memories just sitting in my basement, trying to see how high I could get the G's to go using the rocket wingsuit. I sucked at the game, and obviously still do if you're even watching the footage for this video. But that's not the point of this game. The point is that this game allows you to chill more than most other games. Even something like Stardew Valley, which I made a tribute to for a while ago, is more stressful than this game. Whether you loved it because you played it, loved it because your favorite YouTuber used it as background footage, or just enjoyed skiing and snowboarding, we all enjoy this game for some reason or another. I know this video is drastically shorter than most that I've made, and that's because this game is not one that I need to stretch out a video for. If you've never played Steep, make sure to check it out. Next time it's on sale, I'd say it's definitely worth the buy. It's a fantastic game and very underrated. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, this has been Schmenti, and I'll see you in the next one.